Hi, this is Tina from Simply Inspired. I'm going to be talking about anxiety and anxiousness, okay? Most people today suffer from a degree of anxiety. Now, that's quite understandable with such a fast-paced way of living, ever-changing situations, insecurity, and having witnessed a variety of huge events, perhaps in even a young lifetime. We're all privy to that because we have that 24-7 through social media and various platforms about how the world's been influenced by all sorts of events outside of our control. Lots of things to make us anxious, lots of things to think about, to be anxious about. Things perhaps we once were never aware of, but we're aware of now because we're being, if you like, confronted by this. This would lead to an overload in one's head in about a perceived threat, a threat of not being in control and not being able to handle the situation, a feeling like one can't really know something, that you go into various situations without having understood the full implications of that scenario because perhaps you're expected to know it to be perfect, to be, to have been become aware of it because this is how people are, everything changing on the hoofs, concepts, okay? So anxiety is bound to be, if you like, rampant amongst people. And this anxiety needs to be something that we control. You know, there's an awful lot of things in life that we can't influence. And so when we think about anxiety, we think, well, one of the first things to do is, hey, we're, fe we're feeling anxious, we feel out of control, we can't breathe, we, we feel suffocated, we may feel sick to our stomach, we can't think straight. We're having that panic attack, that anxiety, that quality of, of behaviour because of our original, if you like, um, settings for a scenario. When a scenario is in its place and we think of it and we perceive it as a threat, it would make us anxious. But if we don't perceive it as a threat, and we think of it as perhaps more passive, then we don't feel so anxious. So one of the first places to handle anxiety is to think of it from a different point of view. What if you can't change a variety of events? What if they have nothing to do with you? What if it isn't something that you're especially, especially responsible for? Maybe it's something you didn't know. You could never have known about. You could never have properly understood because of life experience. What if those ideas in your head were turned on themselves and you thought to yourself, well, I can't be the social, socially responsible person for everything in the world. I can't literally save the planet on my own, although I may be, if you like, socially aware that this is a huge event, which it is for all of us. But I can do something socially responsible within my community. I can go out and help if you're like people who are perhaps less fortunate than myself, I can go clean up a beach, I can pick up rubbish, I could drive somebody somewhere that can't get around, I could go and visit somebody that's perhaps in a very poor uh, place. I can recycle my own rubbish, reuse my own things, think about my social conscious awareness of how I'm how my place in the world is actually being placed and I don't mean get radical I mean take some responsibility for small things that make you feel as if you're partaking in things and not responsible for them when it comes to sort of events and meeting people you can't be expected to know things about people before you meet them you can't go into an event and know that you know that this person's going to respond this way act another way behave this way you're never going to know those things the only way you're ever going to know stuff like that is from experience, taking your best guess, having a little bit of role playing before you go to an event, not anxiously role playing something through and through and through, just thinking about the scenario, the way it could play out, how they may respond, how they've responded in the past, how you know they might actually approach what you're talking to them about. If it's a first scenario, first date, even if it's something you're doing that's over perhaps a video chat, don't expect everything from it, just allow it. Allow it to roll without that expectation of anticipation. Anticipation leads to anxiety. Anxiety is anticipation. Anticipating what you don't know or what you can't possibly know is always going to make you anxious.
What am I saying? Become laid back, go with the flow, try and not put yourself as the only person responsible for the huge events going on. Yes, I'm saying try and get perspective on what you can and cannot change, what you can and cannot influence, what you will or will not influence, how your place in the scheme of things matters, not to make you feel anxious, but to give you a center point of what you can establish within the framework of your own mind so that you can start to get a sense of propriety, a sense of control on who you are within the framework of your personality. To do the things that you can do and to some extent ignore what you really cannot change. These are places that you get a sense of yourself and realize that anxiety doesn't serve you other than to make you ill, of course. If your anxiety is so poor and so bad that it's putting you into depression, clearly seek counsel, seek help, and obviously um, visit the, if you like, the known practitioners who can help you within those areas. That goes without saying. There's many things you can do within your own framework to start to understand and establish that propriety of anxiety, which is within everybody. Most people have fear within them that they have to make faith. I hope that this helps you in some way, just to get a glimmer of hope on that, if you like, impossible tasks sometimes of in managing your emotions. Um, thank you for listening. Um, I look forward to talking to you some more about some of these subjects, which we'll be sharing on the Simply Inspired video channel on um, human conditions, human emotions, and how we can actually start to just establish some boundaries on those and um, get a sort of grip on our own emotions. Thank you.